peace be with you. And welcome to our Danish church. If you cannot come to church, the church will come to you. And today, on November 11th, we usually are at Daniel home to celebrate Remembrance Day. We cannot come this year. The Royal Guard cannot join us. But what we can do is wear a puppy and listen to a special poem. So today on Remembrance Day, with greetings from the Ladies Auxiliary, our Ladies Auxiliary President, Elsa Rolke, will read us the Remembrance Day poem in Flanders Fields. Today we honor and remember all the men and women who served their country and made the ultimate sacrifice in order to make this world a better place for us. I will be reading the poem in Flanders Field by John McRae. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row. This mark our place and in the sky that the larks still bravely sing, fly sacred herd amongst amid the guns below. We are dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you make falling heads we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep though puppies grow in Flanders field. Thank you. Now let us listen to the words of the Lord. These words are from the book of Deuteronomy. Be careful and watch yourselves closely so that you do not forget the things your eyes have seen. And be careful so that you do not let them fade away from your heart as long as you live. Teach all these things to your children and to their children after them. Lest we forget. This is the word of the Lord. And now we have all heard it. So onward then in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now let us turn to God in prayers. Lord, take and use us so that our hands may reach out in good service so that our feet may walk even the difficult path, and so that our words may be words of peace. Today we pray for all serving in the army. This is not an easy job. We pray for policemen, firefighters, and freedom fighters. We pray for their families. And we pray for all those who lost relatives and lost ones to battles, fights, and war. O oh God, most merciful, we pray that the message of Christ and his sacrifice is the root of gratitude in our hearts, that the example of Jesus and his gracious gifts may lead us to thankful living and give life to our love towards one another from eternity to eternity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Now hear us as we all pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lest we forget. <laughs>